Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today we're playing some more SimCity 5, the future cities of tomorrow thing. <laughs> Brilliant. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on a little bit of something different. Now at the end of last episode basically we started researching the concentrated solar array, which is obviously going to take a very long time. Now these things that uh, are currently researching, uh, like this, and also the thing over at the academy in my main city, Obviously, because they don't actually research in the time that you're spending outside of the city on other projects, um, I'm probably going to do these off camera, just leave them running for a little while, so that when we come back the episode after this, they'll be done, and then we can move on. Because obviously there's no point sitting around waiting for this to research, because it's going to take forever. So what I want to do is basically focus a little bit more on a different task that we were going to do. Now, some of you might get a little sick of me doing lots of different cities and stuff, but... It's all part of making future Pakistan even more epic than it currently is. Now, one of the major issues that we're facing at the moment with future Pakistan is the sewage. And also, what was the other thing? Was it sewage and something else? I can't remember what it was. Um, situation. Oh, we need to figure out what that is. Look, we'll figure it out in a minute. Okay, it's fine. Uh, so, yeah, sewage primarily, which requires us to have a road connection to a different city. Now, this is the only other city, because Future Pakistan is actually on a little island, that has a road connection. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a sewage city, which is delightful, to say the least. Oh yeah, it was, um, it was garbage, wasn't it, removal? Rubbish. Rubbish towns. So this is going to be like... <laughs> rubbish Pakistan. <laughs> there we go. I would not want to live in rubbish Pakistan. It sounds, well, rubbish. So, what we're going to do is we're basically going to start out a new city, again, um, and eventually remove all of the unnecessary uh, facilities from our main city to provide a bit more uh, free money and space to place all the other cool futuristic stuff. So it's all within the aim of basically getting to the end content of the future DLC. Unfortunately, it takes a lot of... Um, micromanagement and other rubbish like this, building other little cities to help in different tasks. But we're going to do it. So enough talking, let's just get on with it, shall we? So we're going to put down some medium density avenues. I'm going to this time put down a main street in the middle like so. I know it's a bit you know, weird, but whatever. I've noticed it's got a nice curved road. So I thought I would... Oh, Skybridge Station. So hang on, it does research outside of city time. Oh, that's good then. It's still good. <laughs> Because it means that... Hang on, permits granted for water, power, and zoning. Oh, what is all this? Water? I'm so confused. Is that because we have started this place? I don't even know. Maybe it doesn't. What? Look, stop rambling and get on with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down some roads. Uh, we're going to put these in a nice curvy pattern. So we're going to probably need the curvy roads tool. So if we do it like this, and also like this... I don't know why it's linking up to that, but whatever, I don't really care. And then we're going to do it like this. Because as in all the other expansion cities that I've made, like Mining Pakistan, I don't really care too much about the, you know, how well I'm laying the roads out, for example, and other things. I don't care at all. So that's going to do. We've only got 9,000 left, so we're going to need some form of power. Power, we're going to use the wind power which we're probably going to place. It looks like it's nine everywhere. We're going to place it here. It doesn't really matter at this point in time. We just need some power. And we're going to zone. So let's zone some. Commercial. And then we're going to make the rest residential because we need a lot of workers. Uh, mostly because we need a lot of low and medium wealth workers again in order to drive all of the trucks and other rubbish that we need in the city. So we're going to make this commercial like so, and we're also going to make this commercial. For some reason we can't go there, but that's fine. So this is all going to be residential along here. And then... Eh, yeah, alright. We'll make this residential for now as well, because we don't know what we're doing with it. And in fact, because the wind is actually going this direction, I'm feeling as though we should perhaps put down some industrial, but that's not really a priority right now. So, in the meantime, we need some form of water. This is on fast speed, which is exactly what we wanted. So this is pump rate 6 and pump rate 10, so we need 6,000. Currently not making a lot of money, because there aren't any people here, but it's fine. We're going to ignore that as an issue right now. Probably shouldn't have spent so much on roads. I always, always do this, but it's fine. It's fine. These people aren't going to be very happy, but, you know, happiness isn't my main priority with these people. 
Just need to get $6,000. Now, one thing that I'm going to be doing with this city, obviously it being a sewage treatment city, is we are going... Oh, it was water as well, actually, wasn't it, that we were worried about? What we're going to be doing is we are going to basically put down about three of these sewage treatment plants, focus on these. We don't need to worry about education, anything else like that. Literally just need power. We're going to put down some parks, obviously, to expand the amount of people in this city just so we can have some form of income control. And we are going to put down a shit ton of, literally a shit ton, of sewage treatment plants. And we're also going to put down a lot of these uh, vanilla water pumping stations. And also a couple of uh, garbage facilities around the place. Petition to build Skybridge approved. Actually, in the meantime, whilst we're producing money here, let's go back to the uh, future Pakistan, because I want to have a little look. Oh, what the hell is that? Is that a What's going on over here? Is that a glitch? I don't know if you're going to see this in the video, but it's got like... Yeah, that is, that is a glitch, because that, I think... Is that the... I'm really confused. Is that the maglev layout from future Pakistan, but overlaid over the ocean? That's very strange. I hope you can see that, and I'm not just rambling about nothing on your screens. But yeah, that that was really weird. I thought, like, God, can we, like, have they released, like, a water? I'll tell you what, that'd be really cool, actually. If they made um, a DLC in which you could make, like, underwater cities, that'd be epic. I'd play that. I'd buy and play that shit on my channel. <laughs> That's the sort of thing I'd do. <laughs> Okay, so we've left, I think, one level for Skybridge, I think. Oh no, we did that already, didn't we? So we actually need to build another uh, mega tower over here, which is not going to happen. One thing that I would look, like to look into, sorry, is, yeah, we definitely need water. That's a major concern right now. We also... do we need power? No, I think power's okay. I think. We're just waiting for the uh, research to go on in the university. And in fact, just to finally prove, because I'm now really confused about this, so it was on 3%, it should be at least at 4% if it does carry on researching when you're outside of that city bounds. Now when we go back into it, this is going to answer the question. So where is it? There it is. No, this is it here. 3%. Okay, so yeah, that's what I thought. So yeah, I'm going to have to do that off camera, but that's not really an issue at all. And what I did off camera as well, I just started deleting a few of these abandoned buildings that are still popping up because of the low land value, where we changed everything to medium wealth from high. So that's something to look out for. Right, so enough rambling. Let's go back to our third city. In fact, this is the first time I've ever had more than one city on the go in this game, even in the time that I've played it outside of Let's Play. Which is interesting, because I'm definitely not used to it, but it's pretty cool. And it's not really that much more complicated either, I don't know why I always thought it was really complicated. But yeah, whatever. It's the episode of rambling. It's the weekend. I'm supposed to be relaxing. And I've not got the coffee super hyperness after work thing going on. But it's fine. We need some factories? Yes, I know you do. No need to complain. I'll do it. In fact, as we're not so worried... Oh, what's this? Mayor, I'm fine with being left in the dark in terms of how the government is run, but this is ridiculous. Maybe buy power from a neighbouring city? No, thank you. What's wrong with our power? It's getting there. We've got plenty of power. What's wrong with that lady, stupid woman? Okay, so we're going to put down one of these. We're probably... 1,003, 6, where was it? There was a high bit there, wasn't there? For, oh, look, it's expanding. Why is that... Why would that expand like that? Okay, that's fine. Well, we're going to put it there. So we now have water, which is good, and it's going to start upgrading a few things. And we can place down the town hall, which I think we're probably just going to bung here, because it doesn't really matter. Right, so that's good. Uh, we've got that sorted. We also need a sewage treatment plant, one of many that we're going to place down here. I'm thinking we're going to place the sewage treatment plants around here. Okay, so have a look at this. We're also going to, unfortunately, need to place down a few of the other things, including... The... Oh, Dr. Vu. No! Um, yeah, there's going to be a few issues in terms of... Stop upgrading and interrupting me! In terms of the police station and the other services that we have there. But that's fine. Uh, we're going to obviously have to put down those after a little while. I've already changed this. Thank you very much, game. I'm ahead of you. I never understood that as well, because they say that you need the town hall in, the, in order to actually change the name, but you can change the name as default anyway. It's a bit weird, whatever. Not going to question it. Have we got the super advanced trailer park? We do, I love those. 
still think they look really cool. I, I do love the changes they've made to this game. Very, very nice. I'm actually interested to see what kind of um, future DLC they bring out as well. I mean, that's unrelated to the future DLC pack that we've already got. Yes, I know about the Arcology. Every single city has told me to do it. Stupid thing. It's doing it on purpose. Right. Okay, aside from this, everything is fine and dandy. We're getting more of an income, so I'm feeling as though we should spend some of this on the parks to upgrade to medium wealth. So let's do that. And we're going to use the future parks as well. Gonna put down one there, we're going to put one down there. Perhaps one there, there, and there, and there for the future as well. And we're probably, just for the sake of it, put one down there as well. So there we go. So this is all going to be medium wealth now. It's obviously going to drain our uh, profit per hour, which is not really that much of an issue. I think each of these is like, what, 80 an hour, which is not really the biggest deal in the world. But it is going to mean that our density of our population is going to increase. And I'm feeling as though we should upgrade these roads just right now anyway, just to boost that quicker. If we can. Yeah, there we go. Let's just do it. High density streets for everyone. Like so. And this should speed up our... It should speed up our increase of... Uh, density, which is what we're looking for right now, which means that we'll get some more money per hour, which is good. Okay, I don't normally do the, the uh... <laughs> what did he say? Cool, the mayor's starting to turn rubbish Pakistan into a city of tomorrow. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> it's still going to be shit, don't worry. Right. Too much sewage. Ah, oh, yes, we forgot about this. I think it's 8,000, isn't it? Oh, no, 3,500. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll put this here then, just for now, until we can get to the next stage. Hey, don't complain about this. This is rubbish Pakistan. It's supposed to be shit. Okay, so what we've got here? Muffin Masters! Muffin Master! Grocery. Grocery. Ganashi. Ganache. Desserts, even. Ganache. I'm so not cultured. <laughs> Ganache is the uh, sort of icing layer on cakes, isn't it? Or have I got that completely wrong? I think that's right. Who knows? I don't even know anymore. Right, so, that's all sorted. Now, in terms of the other things, we're going to probably first of all focus on these sort of areas. Getting down a fire station would be probably quite nice. I think we'll just put that down in the middle of the road here or something. And then, once we have enough, we'll move on to the other areas. In terms of specialisation, why is this spazzing at me? It wants me to build a gambling house, which actually would kind of suit a grotty city full of shit. And sewage and other problems. Hmm. Maybe something to think about. I like the idea of it. 17,000. We've almost got enough, actually, to build our fire station. Be nice. I, I always like to get the fire station down first. Because, I mean, it's alright if people die a little bit. And, like, the police station, like, if people cause a bit of crime. Because that can be altered in the future. But, like, fires actually do start destroying things which are quite useful early on. So let's get one of those down. And we're going to put it here, like that. Right. And then the next thing I want to get is probably the police station. Because in my mind, for some reason, the police station is more important than health. I don't know why. I mean, we could go for health next, just because it's a bit cheaper. And yeah, I think we'll do that. Let's do that instead. Makes more sense. Okay. So we're actually getting almost 4,000 per hour now as well, which is incredibly good. Uh, in terms of everything else, I think we're pretty much set. Could probably do with a bit of transportation, but that's not really an imminent issue. And I think if you have a little look at this, uh, the uh, car, where is that? I think that's... where is that? Is that this? Bus map? No. Where's the road density? Or does it just show it automatically? Maybe it just shows it automatically, I swear to God. Like, didn't you get like the little green bars and the red bars and things? Oh well, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we've almost got enough for the hospital. I'm actually really glad that people are still enjoying this episode, I mean this series, uh, because in my other Sim Series cities, um, Sim City series even, God, that was a bit of a tongue twister, I've only managed to get to about 13 episodes, and then I sort of move on to the other things, because I never used to do multiple cities helping out our main city. That's just something I've never really done before. But it seems to be going well. I mean, I'm enjoying doing it still, so if you're enjoying it, then I'm very happy indeed. Right, and I think, by the looks of it, we can also place down this clinic. So let's put this down on this road instead, and then get out of this. There we go. Right, so people should be dying a little bit less now. It's going to increase our 
quality of life moderately, which is very good indeed. And I think, to be honest, it's a bit of a shorter episode, but I need to get off because I need to go to the cinema. If you've enjoyed it, then please feel free to leave your support, as always, in terms of ratings and uh, comments, because those particularly help me out. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Awkward. Awkward goodbye. Awkward. <laughs>